Welcome to an Excel Max screencast. Uh, Ryan here with you. I'm going to be showing you a, an application that will bring out your geeky side, really. This application will let you mm, let your Mac know when you're in the room and when you're not in the room. It's kind of creepy to think about, but it's a really powerful tool if you use your Mac at, say, the office and you don't want to keep, like, uh oh, locking your Mac because you're walking out of your cubicle and you walk back you gotta unlock it it's really a pain in the butt or if you have you know brothers sisters you don't want them uh, playing on your Mac so let me show you this application it's really great and it's gonna build off of the Apple script that uh, Alex showed you in the uh, multiple launcher post so let me go ahead and show you the application uh, here it's basically it's just a little utility that sits up in your taskbar up there it's called proximity and what this does is it works through bluetooth and if you have blue if you have a bluetooth enabled phone you should be able to get it work no get it to work no problem but yeah it basically it senses when your bluetooth phone is within range and when it's not in range and it it executes scripts depending on if it's in range or if it's not in range so here's a thing right here, monitoring. I have it set up to do it as fast as possible, which would be five seconds. Anything faster, it's it's not going to notice because Bluetooth isn't that fast. Um, so let me click on device here. Come on. There it goes. Okay. So showing my upstage, which that's my piece of crap phone until I get a nice iPhone. But yeah, it basically checks connectivity every five seconds um, every five seconds after that it, it checks again and then it checks one more time just to make sure to help false positives because I have I have turned this off and it says it's not in the room when it is so it can be annoying but yeah I do one or two so on the scripts page you basically select which scripts you want to execute whether it is out of range or in range uh, I named it like leaving proximity and entering proximity. And before before I get into you know what's in these scripts, I just want to show you how how exactly this this deal works. Um, when you're in range, there is a circle, and when you're out of range, there's an X. Basically, I set these scripts up to launch my screensaver when it's out of range. And let me go ahead and turn my phone off so it thinks it's out of range. But up here you'll see it'll go to an X and then it'll launch the script. So my phone is now off. There it goes. Into the screensaver. You know, not, I didn't want to put a huge graphical screensaver because I know I wouldn't be able to record it very well. So turn my phone back on. It's launching. There it goes. Takes forever to turn on. Come on. There it goes. And I simply put my password in and I'm back. Good to go. Uh, this works if you walk out of the room, if you turn your phone off, if you turn Bluetooth off. Um, my mouse that I have working right now is a Bluetooth mouse, as you can see right here. Um, it should work if you have a Bluetooth mouse and keyboard connected. I thought about that too. I was like, well, what if I have a mouse paired up with it? Will it still see my, my phone? And yeah, it will. It'll work if you have you know Bluetooth devices connected to it. So let me, let me get into the scripting part of this screencast. And let me show you my leaving proximity script. This is the same thing as before. It's all Apple script. So to launch my screensaver, I do tell application screensaver engine to activate. And then just for, you know, just in case, I, I had iTunes pause, so tell application iTunes to pause, which can really come in handy because if you, you know, if you, if you have iTunes playing and you, you know, leave your room, iTunes will continue to play right through your screensaver, and yeah, that's not good. So... I just named it as leaving proximity dot script. My entering proximity is just the opposite. Tell application screensaver to quit. I could put tell application um, tell application iTunes to 
play, but I'm not going to do that because, you know, not all the, I don't always have iTunes playing. Don't say it. So that's basically it. Um, you can get get more advanced. I have seen people set it up so when they come back, it auto automatically tries to run iSync and update their contacts and update their calendars and all sorts of things, but that can get really advanced. Um, I just wanted to do something nifty. And we go into System Preferences and under Security, Require Password to Wake This Computer from Sleep or Screensaver. That's what's enabled to have any sort of, you know, minimal security. Um, you can turn that off so that your Mac goes, you know, right back into your desktop. Uh, I usually leave that unchecked because I don't have any siblings to screw my computer up and this is not a work computer, so. But it's a, you know, that, that would really help for, um, for somebody who's using this at work. Not much to it other than that. It's really awesome the first time you see it work. I mean, <laughs> I, the first time I saw it work, I couldn't believe it. And you'll have, you know, I'm sure you'll call somebody over to say, oh, look what my Mac can do. Check this out. And, you know, walk away and your Mac automatically turns off, comes back. So that's my Excel Mac tip of the day. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, just, you know, leave some questions in the comments or shoot me an email.